Hello, and welcome to Game Surgeon. My name is Archie, and today we'll be importing real world height map data into Unity. For your convenience, we have added timestamps into the description below. This will allow you to skip to the relevant parts of the tutorial. Step 1 Obtaining height map data. For this tutorial, we'll be obtaining our height map data from terrain.party. Open up your web browser and go to the URL terrain.party. Once the page is loaded, you'll see a blue square on a map. Click and drag the blue square to the location that you wish to obtain data from. If you want to scale the blue square, use the scale buttons found at the top right hand of the page. Doing this will only change the area of the data that is collected and not the resolution of the height map. Also, remember the size that you obtained the data at as we'll need to set our terrain to the same size. Once you have the area which you want selected, press the download button found at the top right hand of the page. You'll be prompted to name the file, so give it a name that is appropriate for the data you're downloading. For example, Swiss, for our Swiss mountains that we're downloading. Once you've given it a name, your file will start to download. When it's finished downloading, you'll now have the height map data that you need. Step two, editing the height map for Unity. To edit the height maps we downloaded, we first need to extract them from the .zip we downloaded. In the .zip, there'll be several images. Extract all of them, as the one we will use depends on your needs. The height map we have downloaded will be 1081 by 1081. This is not ideal, as the size is not to the power of 2. To fix this, we need to scale it down to 1024 by 1024, as this is the closest standard size. Using the photo editing software of your choice, load one of the height maps, and then scale it down to 1024 by 1024. Then export it as a PNG or export over the original. Step 3. Importing height maps into Unity. Now we are ready to import the height map into Unity. Import the height map PNG by either dragging from the file explorer to Unity or by right clicking the project window and selecting import new asset. Once imported, select the image file and then go to the inspector view. Go down to the toggle options labeled read slash write enabled and tick the option so it is true. Then click apply to save these new import settings. This will allow our script to read the data in the image and map it to our terrain. Step 4. Mapping our height maps to terrain. In order to map our height map to some terrain, we first need some terrain. Right click in the hierarchy window and then click 3D object, terrain. This will create a new terrain object in your assets directory and add it to the scene. Select the terrain file in the assets directory and press F2 on it. Once you press F2, this will allow you to rename the terrain rename your terrain and move it to an appropriate folder. After that, we will need to set our terrain size to match our height map size. Click on the terrain object in your hierarchy window and then go to inspector. Click on the gear button and scroll down to settings. Under the mesh resolution section, there are two field names, terrain width and terrain length. Set these to be the same as the height map size you selected in terrain.party. For the tutorial, we use the default 18 kilometers. So we'll be setting the width and height to 18,000. Next, download the height mapper package found in the description below and import the package into your project. Once it has been imported, you should have an option in your toolbar called terrain. Click terrain, then height map. This should bring up a window called the height mapper. Drag the terrain object from your hierarchy window into the terrain object field in the height mapper window. Then drag your height map texture from your project window into the height map texture field. When both fields have been set, you should be able to see a button labeled map. Click this button and your height map should be applied to the terrain object you set. If you find that your terrain height is a little bit flat compared to your height map data, then go back to your terrain settings and then change the terrain height field. This can be found below the terrain width and terrain length fields. Change this until the height feels about right. It is worth noting that for commercial use, you may have to give credit to the providers of the data. Terrain.party gets this data from several sources. When you download the data in the .zip, each file will have a name of the database that the data was collected from. Simply go to the description, find the correlating link, and check their terms of use. That's all there is to it. 
Now you have real world height map imported into Unity Project. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. If you found the video helpful, give us a like. If you'd like to see more tutorials or other game development related projects, then subscribe to us and hit the bell icon for good luck. Thanks for watching.